Financial Services Regulatory Authority of Ontario, or FISRA, has a health and life insurance campaign with lots of information and advice for you. To talk about that, we have with us Stuart Wilkinson, Chief Consumer Officer at FISRA. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you very much for having me. I'm looking forward to the conversation. So what is the purpose of the life and health insurance campaign? Well, FISRA at its heart is a consumer protection regulator. And part of the job of protecting consumers is promoting public education and knowledge about the sectors that we regulate, including the insurance sector. The purpose of this campaign is to help consumers understand the choices available to them, ask the right questions, and ultimately end up in a life insurance product that's the right fit for them. And additionally, we're targeting vulnerable consumers in this campaign because we really want to get information out to consumers to help them get more confident navigating the life insurance system. You said that you're targeting vulnerable consumers in this case. Uh, why would you say is the campaign specially targeted towards the multicultural audience? Well, BISRA is here to promote public education and understanding about our regulated sectors. And that means all of Ontario. And Ontario is a multicultural province. So it's really important for us to meet consumers where they are and reach out to different cultural communities so that we are engaging people and not just posting information on our website and seeing who picks it up. So it's very important for us to be doing outreach to different cultural communities. And I mentioned that we're targeting vulnerable consumers in this campaign in particular. Vulnerable consumers are very difficult to define. You can be vulnerable because of a number of factors, including your health, your financial resilience, uh, different events going on in your life. But we've noticed that vulnerability can be especially high amongst different segments of the population, including newer Canadians. So we're reaching out to different communities and trying to really get to those segments of the population to get them the information they need to make a good decision. And we've noticed in life insurance and other sectors that FISRA regulates that vulnerable consumers are less trusting, less satisfied, and less confident than average consumers. And that's something that we really need to um, help vulnerable consumers with to close that gap. What would you say is the top information that consumers should acquire from their agents? I'll break it down into knowing about your agent and knowing about the product that the agent is talking with you about. So first of all, if you're gonna know about your agent, um, think about asking them about their license, um, are they legally authorized to give you advice about life insurance in Ontario? That's important to know. And also, are they which products are they allowed to give you advice about? Or which insurers do they work with? So you can really get an understanding of uh, what sort of advice the agent can and can't give you. That's really important to know. So you know that the agent's giving you advice that's tailored to your personal circumstances rather than information that's just general in nature and could apply to anybody. And when you move into learning about the life insurance products that are on offer for you, it's very important to be cognizant that the variance of life insurance products in Ontario is very, it's very high. There are lots of different products out there and some products are not going to be suitable for you. For example, there are investment-based life insurance products that really only work for consumers that have already maxed out the contribution room in their registered retirement savings plan or tax-free savings account and registered education savings plan. Those products are going to be suitable for a completely different segment of the population than other life insurance products. So those are really the key points for consumers to keep in mind. And our website, fsrao.ca, has a lot, of, a lot more information for consumers to support them as they make a decision on life insurance. Is there any additional information that you'd like to share about how FISRA can help its consumers? Well, I mentioned our website. It has a ton of information on it. And I also want to mention that we have a Google Translate function on our website. So even if English and French aren't your first languages, you're able to access information in Hindi, simplified Chinese, Italian, Spanish, and German on our website right now. So I'd really encourage everybody to take a look at that information.
thank you, Stuart, for that information and thank you for joining us.